Welcome back guys. Today I have uh, probably the heaviest log I've ever put up on this sawmill. It is really big for around here and it's a shag bark hickory. It's uh, 13 and a half foot long. It's 21 inches wide at this end and 18 and a half inch wide at that end. This is going to be a project. So Let's get going on this and see what kind of boards we can get out of it. I don't get a lot of hickory, so this is going to be some pretty neat wood, I'm thinking. One thing you're probably going to notice right away is I don't have the log clamps up on this log holding it in place. Uh, sometimes what I run into when logs are a little bit too big and they stick out too far is I can't get the log stops rotated up. So what I do in that place is I'll take a couple wedges and pound them in here. That holds the log tight against the back stops and also obviously keeps it from rolling off the mill. the first cut just taking the top cap off it's pretty uneventful we're still in mostly sap wood so we'll see what we get on the next cut should start getting into some nicer darker streaked wood One of you guys can help me move this one. Geez, that's only an inch and a half thick. This is some heavy wood. All right, we're getting into some good heartwood now. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That's the good stuff. Alright, it's time to turn this log. I want to flip it right over so the flat is on the bottom. And I'm going to use this can. Yeah, right. Unless you guys are going to come help me, I'm going to use the tractor.
to take another one inch board off the top of this and then I'm probably going to take some inch and a half boards when we get into the widest stuff I think I'm going to do some two or two and a half inch slabs for bar tops and stuff like that we'll see what we can get out of it though Right here on the end, the log was starting to get spalted. All these black lines in here. Boy, that'd be really cool if the rest of the log was like that. Now I got a couple more of these logs out there, and them ones have been in contact with the ground. So we might have a lot of spalting in them other logs. These were cut about three years ago. Maybe two years ago. can see this right here but I just did a blade change because right here I get a dip in the cut and then it ramps back uphill right here so once I start getting dips and waves going up and down that's past time to change the blade so new blades on should be good to go for the next cut going to make some nice bar top slabs. Cutting them at two and a half inches thick. Man they are heavy. Well this right here is why the blade got dull so quick and I just had to change it out. Spots like this when you get dirt on the outside of the bark you can see that blade traveling this direction is grabbing that dirt on the bark of this side of the log and it's dragging it through the cut and that really dulls the blade quick. Cool, so 
I'm going to go eat some lunch real quick and try to get these camera batteries charged before they die. It's pretty chilly out here today and the camera's not lasting as long as I thought it would. So after I eat, we'll get back at it. Well, lunch is all done. I'm really full. The wife made chili. That was great. And now I feel, feel really lazy. But let's go ahead and get this log done and get everything cleaned up. So we got into the center of the log which is called the pith and we have which is fairly common a crack all the way down the very center so I'm gonna take probably a one inch board out of that center and hopefully we get most of that crack pith out of there and then the next one uh, the next cut can be another two and a half inch slab. Hopefully it'll be clean.
that's going to do it for that log and for us today. Uh, appreciate you guys watching. I was excited to get into that hickory log. Like I said, I don't get too many of those. And it looks like it made some pretty cool slabs. Uh, we'll get those dried up and uh, eventually somebody will have some nice bar tops or whatever they want to use them for. And then we got three or four other boards there for other projects. So I got a couple more of these hickory logs and a bunch more walnut logs that I'll have to get sawed up soon. So please, uh, if you could, give me a subscribe and like the video. Maybe leave me some comments below. But until next time, we'll see you.